Hey friends, I'm Joel Karlewski, the super brave teacher. And every year as an educator, every year as a super brave teacher, every year as a Spanish immersion kindergarten teacher, I get to see how much my words, my actions, and just my being with kids deeply impacts who they are. So you know what? I thought it'd be fun to make a video about the things that I wish I heard as a child. Before I begin, often I think it goes without saying certain things, but I'm gonna say it anyway because I wanna be explicit and clear that this is my thoughts, this is my feelings, and this is just what I wish I would've heard more of or heard at all when I was growing up. So here it goes. Maybe you didn't think this, but I sure did. Joel, you're beautiful. Joel, you not, might not like sports, but you know what? You're strong. Joel, <laughs> not a lot of people get you, but you know what? If you think you're funny, if you crack yourself up, that's enough. Speaking of enough, you, Joel, are enough. And I can't say it enough. You are enough. You know what makes you awesome? No, not that you're always helping out. No, not that you put yourself to bed on time. No, not that you did all your homework. No, not that you're a great kid. You being you is what makes you awesome. You being you is so awesome. Joel, I see that you're different and that's okay. I see that you're different and that's okay. You're probably wondering why and you probably, if you wanna have a talk about that, let's talk about these things because who you are is okay. Who you are, all of you, is okay. Oh, and Joel, just to be clear, I'm not just tolerating you. I'm radically and fully accepting every part of you, including the parts I don't get yet. I don't get it, <laughs> but I'm sticking around for you. I'm here for you. And you know what, Joel, last thing, I'm glad that you like my validation, but what's most important is that you can validate yourself. And I know you like my love, but what's most important is that you love yourself. So try that. Practice it every year. I'm gonna be here for you, but keep practicing that because it's gonna be hard for you. It's gonna be hard, but I'm here for you. So there you go, friends. Those are just my thoughts. Those are the things that I wish I, as a little Joelito, would have heard as a little Joel. I wish I heard those things more. I wish I heard a lot of those things for the first time. <laughs> Some of those things I need to continue to hear as an adult because yeah, I didn't hear it growing up and I'm not putting blame on anybody. I'm not saying you did this wrong or whatever. I'm here to say that that's what I needed. And now that I know that, I'm using that to inform my practice and my life. And I love being able to tell kids they are enough. I'm here for them. I'm not going anywhere. You're different and that's okay. I don't just tolerate you. I fully accept who you are. All those messages, I not only get to tell kids, I get to show them. Because when you really show kids that you are there for them, it makes a huge difference. So whether you're a teacher, a student, a mom, a dad, wherever you fall, please, 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 Think about validating kids, validating anybody, how they need to be validated, and really from a place of authenticity that's not just doing it because they're doing something for you, or they're acting how you want them to act, or they're being how you want them to be, but rather because they're 100% who they are. And that's awesome. Thanks for being 100% who you are. You are awesome just for being you. Bye, friends.